Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16. If you're one of those people that just want to try out the new beta, you want to install it on your device, then there are a few things you need to know and you need to prepare your device before you update to this new software. This is a really big update and of course it will have a lot of features and changes so a lot of people will want to update to iOS 16. But before you do that, especially if you're doing it on your main device, there are a few things you need to know and do before you install iOS 16 beta 1 on your device. First of all, we're talking about three things that you need to know and be aware of before you install iOS 16 beta 1 on your device. First of all, it will have bugs. Of course, this is a beta version of a software and is a major release and of course it's beta 1, so it will have a ton of bugs. Don't expect every new feature to work properly. Of course, Apple is working on it. It will work throughout the summer to make those features work as they should, but of course we always get updates with fixes and all that, so don't expect every new iOS 16 feature to work properly because they will have bugs due to being such a big update and of course a lot of new features and changes. You will also face crashes, probably random reboots on your iPhone, screen freezing and things like that. These are things that you can expect to happen on a beta one of a, such a big update update so be aware of that if you just want to install iOS 16 beta 1 especially on your main device you have to take these thing, things into consideration and know that you can expect bugs and crashes and also apps not working now not all apps will work not all apps of course will be ready for iOS 16 devs have to update their apps of course to work properly with iOS 16 that's why Apple releases these betas for devs so of course your apps you have on your device most of them will probably work without a problem but a few of them can have problems maybe not even work at all until you get an update from the dev for that app to be capable with iOS 16 so, so just keep in mind that you can get bugs, crashes, and also apps not working on iOS 16 beta 1 if you just decide to install it on your device with the release of the first beta. And now let me show you guys five things you need to do in order to prepare your device to be ready to update to iOS 16 beta 1 once it gets released. First of all, back up your device. Make sure that you back up your data before you try to install a beta on your device because something might go wrong and you might lose all of your data. Now you can back up, of course, through iCloud. If you have enough space, you can back up all of your data there or you can do that through your computer, through iTunes or Finder, whichever version you use, whether you use Windows or Mac. But it's really, really important that you always have your data backed up in case something goes wrong. So make sure you do that. So you have to do that actually before you update to iOS 16 beta 1, because if you do that after your update and you just downgrade your device back to iOS 15, then you won't be able to actually restore that backup to your iOS 15 device because backup done on a newer version is not able to be restored on an older version of iOS. So just keep that in mind before trying to install beta one, make sure you have backed up all of your data. Another thing you can do is just start fresh with iOS 16 and just have iOS 16 start without any data at all on your device. Now, of course, this is not obligated. You don't have to do that. But if you just want to do it, if you want to have a fresh start with iOS 16, you can back up all of your data to your computer and then reset your device so that you, when you update to your iOS 16 software, you will have everything cleaned from your device. Of course, a lot of people prefer to do that. I do that personally when I get a new device, I never get the old data from my old iPhone, especially photos, videos, and things like that to the new iPhone. And you can do that simply by restoring your device through iTunes, or you can do that from your device. If, if you have, of course, all the data backed up and you just want to do that, you can simply go right here to settings, general transfer or reset iPhone, erase all content and settings, and you will have a new beginning with iOS 16 without having anything on your device at all and just start fresh with a new software. 
A lot of people that will want to install the first beta of iOS 16 probably have a previous beta of iOS 15 on their device. And to install that, you will need, of course, a profile. Now, what you need to do in order to install iOS 16 is, of course, download the iOS 16 profile, which will be different from the current one if you have one and you're installing iOS 15 betas. Now, what you need to do before iOS 16 beta 1 gets released, make sure you go to settings, go to general, and right here vpn and device management go here and here we'll find your ios 15 beta software profile now this is the profile that is allowing you right now to install ios 15 betas but of course this won't work with ios 16 so what you will need to do is remove this profile tap here enter your passcode it will allow you to delete the profile reboot your device and you're good to go now you will have to wait for the profile for ios 16 to get released in order to install ios 16 on your device just make sure that first of all you need to delete this because this won't work with ios 16 and even if you might be on a beta right now i'm currently on ios 15.6 beta right here you will still be able to install ios 16 as long as you have the ios 16 profile installed instead of this when you want to install such a big update on your device, of course, you will need free space. So make sure you have cleared enough space on your device for the update to happen. Now, what you will need to do is go to your settings, go to iPhone storage and see how much free storage you have on your device. I suggest you have at least 10 gigs of free storage on your device before you try to update to iOS 16. The update will be probably quite big and it will require some space for the device to download the update and then update the device. So make sure you have enough free storage. Make sure you have deleted your recently deleted album right here and see right here what is taking up more space on your device. If you see any apps that you just can reinstall later after you have updated you can just go ahead and delete them like right here you can see tiktok is taking like 700 megabytes on my device i can just go ahead and delete this if i don't have enough free space and install it later once i have updated to ios 16. so just make sure that your device has enough free space to download and install the ios 16 update and last but not least if you're one of those people that just can't wait to get their hands on ios 16 like i am make sure that you have your device charged in order to update your device now the device will have to be charged over 50 percent in order to download and install the new update so make sure you have enough charge on your device in order to install ios 16 beta 1 the minute it gets out to the devs so these are the things that you need to keep in mind and do before you try to update your device to iOS 16. Now this update will come on Monday, it's six days away from now. It's really, really exciting. According to the reports that we got from Mark Ruman, this update will be quite big. It will have some really great and very, very interesting features. So we're very, very excited to see what apple is bringing with ios 16 and of course install it on our devices so that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe for more ios 16 videos and i will see you on the next one